Hello. <laughs> that almost worked absolutely perfect. Ah, the joys of having a seat with wheels on it again. Am I coming through okay? I might be looking a little different. In fact, I just remembered something. I suppose if we ever sell t-shirts, well, if I ever sell t-shirts, I have a catchphrase for a streaming. It will be, I've just remembered something. <laughs> Am I coming through okay? Am I coming through good? Hang on. You may have noticed. Well, first up, people of the internet, welcome to the Armbar Arcade once again. Welcome back to Hot Race Car Nights. For the last time. Things are a little bit weird. Things are a little bit unusual. Uh, first off, you may notice this rather old school looking setup where I'm sort of sat in the middle of the room again. Now, I'm just going to move the webcam down a tiny bit. I should do. There we go. There's a very simple reason for that. Um, when I was playing this game earlier to prepare for tonight, I went to unplug because I have to sort of plug my speakers in. The only audio output you get is through a headphone jack. So I plugged my computer speakers into it. And as I was unplugging them, you kind of had to reach around the back and yeah, it, the whole monitor fell forwards, straight into my keyboard, broke the screen. Eight pound monitor up in smoke there. Lovely. That was good prep to have about four hours before we do to go live. But. I have that fan behind me. But. Fortunately. We're going back to the old school. I've got my TV here. My monitor over there. So I can just about see Streamlabs. So if I have to change any settings. I'll have to sort of scoot over there. And then come back. I might keep this setup. I don't know. Uh, let me know in chat whether you like this setup. Um, he says. Saying that. Having just revealed a few days ago that we are retiring the Armour Arcade. Yes. If you were kind of late to the party on that one. If you haven't seen the video yet. Um, this is the final week of operations for the Armour Arcade. This is the retirement tour. Uh, no beef at all. No acrimony at all. Um, just me and Nay want to do new uh, other things with our lives now. Nay's doing some really cool composing. Including for video games. I want to do even more streaming. And my freelancing is just off the chain now. And you know I've got my own vlogging channel and everything. So we're like concept the time we used to do on barcade what about that and we put that over here and there you go it's really that simple it's not actually that sad on our our end we've got it to administration <laughs> yeah, we're not supposed to tell them yet i'm trying to keep that from them you know football clubs don't reveal when they're in administration oh james carmody's in chat you guys are probably my favourite channel on all... Aww. That's really nice of you. Thank you. We will... The good thing is, we will definitely be still doing stuff. I mean, like I said, I'm going to be doing... Basically, if you like my streams... If you like me and Nay's streams on Armbar Arcade... We're still going to be doing those to various degrees on our own Twitch channels. I'm already setting up and doing overlays for my own channel. It's going to be mostly racing gaming focused... Because I think I just got to accept at this point. That's my main dojo. Uh, plus simulators, because I like Train Simulator. So, more of that. If you like Hot Race Car Nights and my Train Simulator streams, you'll keep go getting that. If you like Nay's completes videos and things like that, there's every chance he'll do some of that. And, if you like the 24-hour album challenge that he did, potentially expect more of that. Because where Nay's going to be focusing more on composing, he may well stream some of the composing sections on, like, the art side of Twitch. You know, like, these art streams where you just watch someone on Photoshop being like, do 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 There you go, masterpiece. And, uh, but instead, it'll be Cubase or Reason. I can't remember what Nay uses. Um, he's going to admonish me in the chat now, you watch. But it'll just be him on the screen being like, Start now, prepare now. And there you go, and you'll watch him create these works of art. So you guys aren't going after all. Well... Reason 10. There you go. Um, we aren't going anywhere. It's just we're not doing on Arcade, if that makes sense. We're basically doing, like, the best way to describe it is if a band, we're splitting the band up, but we're both going to be doing solo projects, which may also involve us collaborating with each other anyway. Is that a good enough answer? So there you go. Uh, I've just realised I've not got a bot open for this. Just splitting and rebranding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's actually now a brand split. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up running SmackDown. He's gonna go to Raw. <laughs> it's all good. And of course, a toast. Whatever beverage you happen to have tonight. 
be it alcoholic or not. Hmm. Oh man, Cabinet of Hells is good. It's like when System of a Down went on hiatus, we got Scars on Broadway and Elect the Dead. There you go. Perfect analogy. There you go. Of course, now he's going to make it into a System of a Down analogy. But that's a great way of putting it. I don't know which one of us is going to be Scars on Broadway and which one of us is going to be Serge Tankin's solo projects. I don't know. I'll leave that up to your opinion. But, um... Oh, Super Mike is here. Vanilla Coke. Ocean Spray Cranby. Nice. Eli58, hello, good to have you along. Chateau is lively. You know, it's almost like we've announced that we're a... Nah, you could be Surge. There you go, that's fine. Ocean Spray Cranberry, nice. That's all good. I like how everyone's posting what drinks they have in Chateau now. What drinks they're raising for a toast. But uh, Yeah, I've got some rather nice Camden Hells lager. Lovely. Mm. I actually got this for the final taping uh, we did on Saturday. We did the announcement video there. And we uh, take the final beat down, which if you watched our farewell video, you'll know what that is. Oh God, I'm already quaking in my boots at the, well, I'm not wearing boots, but if I was, I'd be quaking in them for the release of that. No drinking here. We have work to do. <laughs> James Conn has got Coke. I'm having to look at my phone because obviously well, this is the one downside of streaming from the TV screen. Like I'm miles away from my computer where chat is. So what happened to the gluten-free thing? Ah! kind of through kind of a bit of trial and error i kind of worked out that i'm not entirely gluten intolerant just a bit sensitive to certain amounts like if i have a lot of bread it's a bad thing so i'm trying out gluten-free substitutes i just so happen to like camden hell so like beer i seem to be okay with so it may, it may be specifically a wheat thing and this has bavarian lager yeast hops where is the actual ingredients for this thing Contains barley and wheat. Uh, oh, okay. So if it is a wheat thing. Mm. There we go. I've also got some regular water as well. Will it manage to dethrone Sonic 06? That is the true question. James, if I tell you that it is actually in danger of breaking the entire Hall of Shame rankings, that's the kind of level of bad we're talking about here. Also, I'd like to... Um, <laughs> minus one ten. Yeah, it actually just glitches out the Hall, the Hall of Shame rankings. Also, James, by the way, we must address this now, because I mentioned this to May when we called it quits. I was like, James is going to be so mad at us for never doing a beatdown on Rogue Warrior. <laughs> at some point, what we'll do, whether it's an armbar arcade reunion stream or if it's just a collab thing we do, we are, we're going to play Rogue Warrior just for you, because we know you've been requesting that since the, pretty much the start of the beatdown series. Nay has shaving cream. That's not a good drink. Are we talking Spirit of Speed 1937 bad? Worse. And with that, let's start. <laughs> let's go on with tonight's stream, shall we? Because that's for Friday. This is now. And, oh boy. You remember last time out on Hot Race Car Nights, Gran Turismo 3. We completed an epic victory in the Gran Turismo World Championships. Our panel as Rumbly Boy ended up conquering all. Ended up defeating the likes of the Factory Toyota. Factory Nissan and Factory Mazda teams. Look at it there. The Rumbly Boy. The ultimate Rumbly Boy. It has now earned its retirement in the Team Pleb Hall of Fame. This is definitely a Hall of Fame, not a Hall of Shame. Alongside Minoru the Suzuki. Shout out. A round of applause. Standing ovation for Minoru the Suzuki. We've not seen since his glorious victory at the Super Speedway 150. 150. But it's, <laughs> it's earned retirement, quite frankly. We also have the Mega Maro. Finally got its chance to shine last time out, like the wind, and proceeded to times infinity by infinity in the way it decimated the field. Uh, it lapped one car, what was it, seven times in the end? <laughs> and we, what else have we got? We got the Tommy Kyra ZZ2, which unfortunately will forever be associated with the shit show that was the Dream Car Championship. <laughs> with the most boring, the race that was so boring, I ended up driving with my nose. <laughs> um... So, yeah, what else is there? Oh, yeah, we didn't get to see much of this. This is the Drifty Boy, because, you know, Team Pleb is ultimately a drift team. We haven't been much of a drift team this time around. We also have, we also have the initial D-Boy over there. Imagine all the glitches and bad frame rate. That's Superman 64. Deja vu, yes. And ironically, 
for our victory in the GT World Championship, we won a Screamy Boy. But it's, it's, it's actually not very good at certain tracks. Obviously, at certain tracks, it's amazing because it's a Group C Screamy Boy. But at other tracks, like the one we're going to be racing at tonight, yeah, yikes, not so good. But it has served a purpose because if we're not going to use this tonight, what are we going to use? Well, Crew Chief Jason Poland came through for us once again, as he always does. And we use this to win our weapon for tonight. Potentially my all-time favourite car in Gran Turismo history. <laughs> Look at it! Majesty! The beauty! Oh, I'm feeling things. I'm feeling quite bad things in my pants. Oh, I mean, this is going to get X-rated very quickly. I'm supposed to be going to be... We're going to try and drive this tonight. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. We've already changed his rims because, obviously, there's no way you can improve on perfection, but I tried anyway. So there it is. The legendary Gran Turismo icon that is the Toyota GT1. Otherwise known, by the way, as the Granny Trundle 1. As I believe Super Mike nicknamed it because whenever we came up against it in AI hands, it was an absolute twazzock to race against. And it basically blew its chance of success in the Gran Turismo World Championship by having the Ferrari, the Ferrari F1 strategy crew on hand. Although apparently everything's, everything that I knew in F1's changed because while I wasn't looking, F1's suddenly amazing now and Ferrari aren't shit. So, pff, I don't know. Anyway, it's a red car, so in the AI's hands, it had red strategy, which was mm, pitting when everyone else wasn't. So, <laughs> we're not going to make the same mistake. We are not going to be fooled again. And oh boy, we're going to need everything this car has. And then maybe some. Because tonight, we're tackling a very special race. Now, there are several races, several championships you could consider the final boss championship of this game. Now, unfortunately, a lot of the championships just go on far too long. Like Formula GT, we'd be here for another two years. Now you'd be like, weren't we supposed to be shutting down the Armour Arcade two years ago? I'm like, I'm still finishing Formula GT. Or the Polyphony Digital Cup. Which is bizarre to me because it's all about stock cars. Yeah, great. All classic Gran Turismo tracks. Yeah, great. Except it's all the reverse versions. The professional tier has a fetish for running. It has a fetish for two things. One, running reverse layouts of all the tracks. And two, running bloody test course races. Which is what he did again in the Gran Turismo All-Stars that I did. To, I'm not doing that again. That's the championship I had to win to get the GT1. So, yes, we're not doing that. But in lieu of championships, we're not doing any championships tonight. We're doing a race. A single race. Done Seattle City 100 already. Laguna Seca 200 is good. Grand Valley 300 is pretty good. Rome two hours. It's the, both the two-hour events in this game are weird in that they're for more road-going cars. Okay. The Roads to Endurance event, I think I did that off-stream and it was mm, tedious. Tokyo Route 246, which is actually the longest race in this game. I believe it's something like 100 laps. But that's for Super GT cars for the most part. We've got the Mistral 78 laps, Monaco Grand Prix, basically. And, of course, Minoru, the Suzuki's finest hour. But ultimately, there's only one race we can go for, for the grand finale of Gran Turismo 3. It's a track that's never appeared in the Gran Turismo series ever again, because it gave the developers nightmares. It gave the team that made this track nightmares. Before the Nordschleife arrived in Gran Turismo Gaming, there was this. And tonight, on this small planet, we're going to go 50. 50! Can we get 50s in chat for the fact that we are about to go... 50 laps around this track in our GT1 boy, who also needs a name. So while you're doing that, post post your names for the GT1 in chat, as well as your 50s. <laughs> have to say it like that, so 50. Are we ready? I'm not, I'm not ready for this. I'm emotional on so many levels. So many 50s. Oh, Cam's favourite. Yes, there we go. The amount of porn boss. Oh my god. <laughs> we need a good name for the Grand GT. Yes. Betty White. Explain, please. Booby <laughs> 2. Why are we going for Ryan Cooper names here? The best granny. 
It's not Grand Trunder anymore. The greatest GT original there ever was, Cam. I was your favourite as well. Yes. We of good... Keiji, Tsuch... Keiji Tsuchiya. Good name. I like that. Tell you what. Manami. I've just got it. We're going for the wrestler theme. So Minoru, the Suzuki. Manami, the Toyota. Toyota. Close enough. Or if there's other wrestlers with Toyota as a surname. The memes are going. <laughs> Far too much banter. I still re-watch that series sometimes. Just put it on in the background for something to watch when I'm working. Like, <laughs> for such a terrible game. That made for such a fun series. I, I don't know what that says about me. Toyota. Or is it Toyota? It is my own Manami Toyota. Best known for her work with All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling. Yes. There you go. Can you see that? That is who we're going to be naming our GT1 after. She may well be old enough to be a granny now, actually. Uh, how old is she? 48. She is old enough to be a granny. But I think you'll agree, she's, she is no granny trundler. That is Manami Toyota. And we are naming our Toyota Manami. And hopefully, she's going to kick as much ass. Let's do this. Oh, hi, British Pokemon. Liking the room setup. Thank you. I'm infamous for changing my room like every two months. But I'm kind of happy with how this is. If you're not back tonight, James, see you on Friday. She's the granny at the Trundles in Soviet Russia. Granny Trundles you. All right, if anyone fancies posting the link to the Wikipedia page from Manami Toyota in the chat, then yeah, go for it. Also, the fuck is this for a lineup? We've only got the 787B as a proper opponent. Two LMP1s and four GT... Nah, we're not having that. Nah, nah. <laughs> Literally every time... Yeah, every time Nay comes over for a taping, like every three weeks or so, yeah, it's a different layout. <laughs> what can I say? I just get bored. Oh, there we go. Right, what have we got here? That's even worse. We <laughs> just win, win easily. Unless there's some absolute hacks from the AI, which is entirely possible. Like, don't get me wrong, that is entirely possible. Oh, my furniture's on the ceiling now. That's a weak list of competitors. Thank you, Cam, for posting the link, by the way. Who said it's easy, difficult? I don't know. Right, that's better. Okay, so we've got the Nissan R390, the 787B, the Rumbly Boy, the Viper, and the GT40, who's there to finish last. We happy with that lineup, though, Chato? While we're doing that, Jason, I need your setup for this car. Someone's at the door. I was making sure someone was getting it. Yes. We have agreement that it is good enough. That bloody Nissan. Don't even talk to me about that Nissan. In the All-Stars. We went... I went to test... For the round at test course. No lie. Alright, four. There we go. No lie. For the round at test course... Oh, the, the... Can you not repost it here? USA versus Japan at Route 11. Well, it actually is. Three American cars, three Japanese... Uh, oh, I think the Japanese cars have the edge here. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I have a sneaky feeling. You mentioned it in the Discord, brought back my memories of how fast it is as an AI. Oh, God, it is. Seriously, when we did... The, when I did the test course round earlier at... Um, for... Uh, blah, blah, blah. For the Grand Turismo All Stars, I was in the 787B with a custom setup on. The Nissan pitted twice, to my none, and still finished 30 seconds ahead. It was pulling about five seconds a lap on me, and I was averaging about 380 kilometers an hour. So that dude must have been sitting at 400 the entire way round. And I'm sorry, that wasn't running a stock 780 horsepower. It just wasn't. Also, I'm going to take this off because I'm sweating already. Right. 
And it's another one of those setups where it's just like, put everything at max or minimum. Literally, everything. <laughs> yep. Camera angle. No adjustments. A little bit of adjustment there. A little bit of balance in the setup. A little bit of balance to the force. 17. 14. LSD initial, what's that, five, Oop. 35, 25, gear ratio, 38, downforce, one, maximum, this is going to be maximum both ends, isn't it? Yep. Yep. No, no surprise. I mean, it is route 11, so I don't blame it for that. Traction control 4. What was the transmission? Auto set 38. So I think we're good. Only question left now is, what tyres do we run on it? I think we run our combo that works so well on the panels. Super hard front tyres, because they're going to be doing a lot of work under braking and things like that. Slightly softer rear tyres, because they won't be wearing as quickly. Jason, crew chief, do you approve of the strat? Watch out for the curbs. Yeah, I found that with the 787B setup that was very similar to this one. 235? <laughs> can, I, can I have... I would like to order one downforce. Yes, I would like one grip, please. <laughs> so I just noticed, I don't know if it was just on my TV that every so often the uh, picture would flicker a bit. Don't know if you guys noticed that, and if you did, seems to have gone away for now. Let me know how it is. I'm sure you will. Um, probably every 11 to 12 laps. 12, 11, 12. So, Roughly four stops, or th three. As far as I know, from what Jason's posted in Chateau. Now, it's still on your TV. Okay, good. That's fine. Oh, excuse me. Right. Should we stop putting this off? Four stops. Right, okay. Now, as far as I know, our main rival in this race will be the Nissan. The final boss. This is basically the Kazuya, the, the Mishima Zaibatsu battle of Gran Turismo. All of the early games, the top two cars in the game, well, two of the top two cars in the game, were the Toyota GT1 and the Nissan R390. The 787B tried butting in for this one to make it a triple threat. And did succeed, but I don't think so on this track. This is not a good track for the 787B. Might still be a threat in the race, we don't know. 12, 25, 37, we will see. But Jason, are you happy with everything? This race does not start until he approves. And as far as I know, the main rival we will have is the R390. Laps in about the 148-149s. Pits every 7 to 8 laps. So he's going to be pitting a fair bit. Jason approves. Let's go! Oh, it's a rolling start. Well, there we go. There we go. We are underway. In the special stage, Route 1150. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Try going on the outside of it. Who put the GT40 second on the grid? Can't even take a corner. Look at this absolute plankton. Like, look, I love the GT40, but it is not... What is it doing here? Right, out the way. Also, whoever's whoever's driving the Rumbly Boy now? Oh, you're an embarrassment. Out the way. So we've made up two positions already. Excuse you. Viper sticking with the top. Well, it was. So bundling into the wall. Uh, whoever suggested the USA versus Japan feud, I would just like to point out that now it's Japan 1, 2, 3, America 4, 5, 6. America, F, no. We are up into third. This is where the battle should be. I'm also going to be quite cautious in the opening laps because. Oh my god! Alright then, someone's not going to be cautious, are they, you pleb? Right, just because you want to pretend to be an actual fast car for once. Well, Drifty. Why should I be surprised? This is a Toyota. This is a 90s Toyota. Why am I surprised that it wants to drift? Ooh. 
Brakes. There you go. There you go. The thing what I've noticed around this track is that the AI just do not give a fuck under braking. But the best way around this track is to brake early. So that's the fastest way around the track, except for when an AI is behind you, for when they will just send you to absolute Narnia. Right, it's an interesting start. 787B has protected its pole position quite well. I'm also well aware that we are... Our tyres will take a while to come up, to come up to temperature. They're basically still stone cold at the moment, and I don't mean Steve Austin. They're about as cold as stone cold's beers in the fridge. And that's after a lap. Oh, here we go. Oh, we've got a bounce for the lead on our hands here. We've caught up to the 787B at the end of the lap. We're up the inside of the Nissan. Do we yeet? Of course we yeet! And the <laughs> oh, no, it just hasn't worked. The Nissan sails past both of us. We both, ye we both yeet each other into turn one, and it just hasn't worked. 787B trying to counter yeet. I approve. The strats there are good. Remember, I don't mind this too much. Long old race, and we're still on absolutely freezing cold tyres. So, oh, Jesus. Um, would, would you mind not doing that? Okay, there we go. Well, there we go. We have now left behind. I mean, the Viper. <laughs> bless the Viper for trying to keep with us. He's trying to make this interesting. No, he's just not. Also worth mentioning, I think the Nissan and the Mazda will both have horsepower uh, advantage down the straights. Because uh, they are running in the hands of the Polyphony AI. Which, for what they don't know about pit strategy, they do know about turbos. They do know about power. Pretty sure Jeremy Clarkson is actually their crew chief. No strategy whatsoever, but power. So uh, expect the Nissan and the Mazda to kind of fuck off down the straight. Although we were pretty good down the straight last time. That might be because we were in the slipstream. We'll see. I'm happy running like this for now. This is okay. We're in position. We're in touching distance. Remember, we will be looking to outstrap this one, as we have done multiple times. I could have used the panels, but the thing what... Oh, what is the Mazda doing? Tried for the yeet there on the Nissan. Just did not work. Oh. Mazda. Mazda. Excuse me. Seven. Now who's the granny trundler? Clearly me and the original driver of the GT1 have swapped seats. Right, our tyres are a little bit more up to temperature now. As you can see, that Nissan pulls a gap down the straight. A lot of speed. Oh my... <laughs> nice try there, mate. Nice try, M9. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, do you remember in the Pro Street series, guys? And there was that, that random race where that guy just came... Just yeeted past us and flew off straight into the wall. And just fucked off out of the circuit altogether. I mean, nice try round the outside at turn one. Uh, wasn't a good strat, to be honest. Oh, and I can't do that corner. Nice. We're doing well already. We're doing well. Early doors. Actually, let me try and find a place to... Can I read chat over there? Oh, here we go. He attacked, but he also crashed. Oh, by the way, we are having a chat. Oh, my. Mazda, do you mind? Cam's watching the stream as well. Do oh, he's, he's trying, in fairness. He's very trying. <laughs> he's trying my patience. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. We are trying to do a challenge in the final week of Armbar Arcade Streams to get the clip count over 1,000. At the moment, it's at about 970. So we just need 30 more clips between tonight's stream... Would you stop? Would you stop that? We just need John Hindhoff in the background being like, that Mazda's treating this like it's a 90 minute sprint race. It's a 24 hour endurance. It's not a 24 hour race, but it's still an endurance race. D <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I'm quite happy just to watch the Mazda try and yeet around the outside of us and then fail. Meanwhile, that Nissan is trying to get away, it just isn't. <laughs> Silent rage. Yeah, we need a live countdown timer, by the way, Jason. How close we are to a thousand clips. I will try and leave a few for the final retro lounge. We're not sure what it will be yet. No, I'm sure Nay will have the answer in the comments. Oh! Can we just ignore that happened? Guys, just pretend you weren't watching. Pretend the stream lagged, and I just mysteriously lost a second to the Nissan. Okay, well, two. 
Okay. Okay. Good. Right. Glad we've uh, glad we've reached that understanding. But I lagged out there. If I don't know, you sure don't. Yeah. How many clips is that now, Jason? Is that 971? Why can't it be over a thousand? Well, of course. Oh. <laughs> Why can I not stop hitting armco barriers? I mean, of course. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, there we go. Legendary rivalry down the years. Playing out here on the streets. Oops. <laughs> Oops. I think if I do actually get my shit together, we might be faster than this. <laughs> How much gain on the Nissan here? What is this? Lolling us into a false sense of security here. Whoops. I love the fact that GT1 has the most pronounced of the early Gran Turismo Turbo wastegate noises. Let's do it when you change gear. Okay, you won't. Hang on. When we get down to turn one, listen as I'm on the brakes and letting off the throttle. It's like they filmed an air rifle. <laughs> well, like, that's the turbo wastegate noise, right? And that exact noise plays every single time you let off the throttle and or change gear. Oh. It's supposed to be our counter for the amount of times I've headbutted walls. Waste man noises. <laughs> it's the Manami Toyota Waste Man Challenge. <clears throat> well, in fairness, we are lapping right in the 149s, which is right where <clears throat> Jason said the Nissan would lap, so that's all good. Oh. We are predicted to go further on our tyres, which we are. This. And if I can stop crashing into walls. It all puts us in good stead, to be honest. I'm assuming there's no not too much blowback from the TV, as in, like, the audio from the game is not leaking into the microphone sort of thing. We're on 974, so only... 84, 94. 26 clips to go. And we've got 46 laps to go in the race. What sort of maths is that? That's not one every two laps. One every lap and a half. This car actually used suspension parts that lived on in Toyota's F1 car. Well, no wonder it's pretty good. So can I just point out, ran another 149 that lap, but lost a couple of seconds to the Nissan. So the Nissan's starting to find some sneaky pace here, I wonder. Is the Nissan, for the first time ever in Gran Turismo history, going to pull a smart AI pit strategy of basically, well, the guy behind us is going to go longer on tyres, so you need to get the fuck out of here. It's getting another second. Hang on a minute. I'm not having this. Steady on there. Is that chicane that famously in Gran Turismo 1 was actually like a bridge tunnel death chicane of absolute terror. Which when they decided to bring this track back for Gran Turismo 3, they were like, you know what? Why don't we just put a little chicane in there that doesn't murder drivers? Yeah, we think that might be a good idea. As if there's not enough corners on this track that already try to murder the player. Oh, God. I'm genuinely amazed why... I genuinely do not know why this track's not been back in the Gran Turismo series since. Route 5's lived on, and like, yeah, it's iconic, but this is far more interesting. Speaking of Route 5, that, behind those grandstands, is where Route 5 is. It's where the hairpin on Route 5 is. So that's where the two tracks link. I remember when Cam showed me that in our Discord, and I'm like, the combined track map, and I'm like, like, mine was absolutely blown. Oh, do you want to turn? There you go. It gets a bit Titanic around that final corner. In that it starts singing Celine Dion rather than trying to turn the corner. 
My heart will go on. No, I don't care about your heart. Oops. You know what, Super Mike? I was wondering why so many... When I tried to find a thumbnail picture for the stream, why so many of the pictures, it was just a blank white front end. I'm like, no. There's, there's clearly something missing from that. Yeah, first and second is still... Where are we at? 3.6 seconds. That's okay. That's fine. And the Viper's pitting, so any sort of lingering attempts they had of trying to make this race, you know, interesting in some way. Whoever pitched the US versus Japan concept, I think you're going to have to accept that it's all over for your mans. I'm not driving the Rumbly boy, so US have, the US have got no chance. Still 3.6 seconds. That's okay. They're literally matching the Nissan, like, 10th for 10th right now. Which is absolutely fine if they're going to go a lot shorter on tyres than we are. Must have been some nice and shenanigans. Yeah, just a bit. Someone want to show me the combined special stage Route 5 and Route 11 maps? Cam, if you're still in Chateau. Route 11. It genuinely blew my mind. So up here, right there, if you were to go straight on through that uh, wall there and through those grandstands right there, you'd be on the hairpin section of Route 5. And that's where the two tracks join. I have to imagine that at some point they did pitch some sort of combined track. Although, weirdly, if the layouts matched up as they do, you'd end up doing one of the tracks in reverse because of the way they'd match up. Anyway, we're seven laps in. Kind of breeze by so far, I'm not going to lie. And um, we are still 2.8 seconds. We're hanging in there. We're okay. And the Nissan, it's due its first stop either at the end of this lap or the next one. I can't remember how many times it pits in this race, whether it's after eight or nine laps. Or it might do what it did in the uh, Laguna Seca round of the Grand Turismo All-Stars I did earlier. I wish I'd been streaming that, to be honest. It was the funniest thing. Like, they were... The, the, the R390 was running away with that race. It was absolutely bitch-slapping us. It was up by, like, 22 seconds. <clears throat> and then it suddenly the gap plummeted by, like, eight seconds in one sector. And I suddenly came around. It lost the lead. And then I passed the R390 as it was falling off at every single corner. So I can only assume it went to go in the pits for its scheduled stop with the tyres absolutely knackered, missed pit entry and crashed, and then had to sort of hobble around one more lap with tyres that were basically uh, were basically made of sort of papier-mâché and old munchies wrappers. <coughs> Black and mild is here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just chilling behind the R390 at the moment. It's okay. There he is. That's 2.2 seconds. That's where the gap's kind of been staying consistent until I do some opera and mount the curbs. So the problem for the Nissan's going to be... Oh, there we go. So the Nissan's pinning in for the first time. And we are uh, not. We're very much not. So... We're in the lead. We are in the lead of the motor race for the first time. <clears throat> I've just noticed, whatever gear settings we've got, we're not even getting this sick gear down the main straight. Must have accidentally put the test course gear uh, ratios on. I don't mind that, because clearly this thing's got some top speed. I'm not getting rinsed by the Mazda or the um, Nissan, like I was in other races. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I wasn't getting belched on. So, in theory, in theory, unless our tyres fade quite dramatically here, we should be okay because we can run basically identical lap times, but go further on tyres. So, uh, it's an, unless you've got something for us, then, you know, checkmate. <laughs> We've still got a long way to go in the race, it's fair to say. So I know you can't see the uh, tyre indicator at the moment, but they are starting to go kind of greeny-yellow. Four 
fried squid for size. <clears throat> I don't I don't really know the adhesive effects of fried squid. I'd imagine they're fairly low grip. Imagine you don't want to use them for tire compounds. That's my top tip. Don't use fried squid for I wish you could take my glasses off. I'm sweating like arse again. Oh, so I think we're on stop every 12 laps. Yeah, that seems to be the strat. And uh, on his outlap, the Nissan not gaining at all. Then again, probably dealing with cold tyres, which is hindering things. <clears throat> so the next three laps or so are going to be where things get interesting. Because can the Nissan try and find some pace that will uh, alleviate the fact that we're going to go about two or three less pit stops than them? Oh, just got this big ringing in my ears out of nowhere. Just in my right ear, though. Oh, and the Mazda's pitting. Not that that matters, because they're already well out of this race. This is also, I believe, the first time in my history of playing Gran Turismo that I have attempted this race, I want to say. I remember back in the day, I did some of the other Enduros, and I kind of didn't complete much... Well, I completed a fair amount of the career mode in Gran Turismo 3. 4 was my main one. That was the one I went and dove into all the Enduros and everything. So, I never did this. I don't think I ever did the Mistral Enduro. We have now gained a second on the Nissan. Gap is now up into the 23s. Oh, God. Where am I, where am I going? Where's the car up the road? Who's that? Wow, well, we're <laughs> no, we're not pitting this lap. Right, so uh, sit rep. The tyres are still more than good enough. We've lapped basically in the 149s consistently the whole stint so far. Except for the odd time where I decided to headbutt a wall. Oh no. Oh no, this is embarrassing. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I mean, it's just embarrassing, really. Rumbly boy, what are you doing back here? What are you doing? I'm just sort of blithering around. M9. M9, could you not? Uh, you <laughs> Going for the... Would you stop punting me? Uh, you that was my mistake, to be honest. I got distracted by the panels. Rumbly boy. Oh, you're just embarrassment, really, aren't you? You're just embarrassing. I mean, see you later. <laughs> Meanwhile, the gap first second stays the same for now. Ow! Yeah, you know what I said earlier about the... the <laughs> well, that's what you get. You know what I said earlier about the AI. Like, the faster way around the track is to break early, and yet the AI just don't do that. We've got another clip. 975. Uh-oh. I think our shenanigans of the panels has given the uh, Nissan a couple of seconds back there. Plus, our tyres are very much deep yellow now, so. I mean, by basic mass, the Nissan's on stop six times. And we'll be on stop three, maybe four times, so. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Okay, got to be a little bit careful. I think the grip is rather dramatically starting to fall away now. Might be the only point where then oh he's getting another second or so okay now we've got to be careful this is our in lap ai what is brakes yeah if you actually go back and read the uh <laughs> literally exhibit a in the do you ai know what brakes are just would you do you want to get out the way can you do you want to just bleed them out the way there you go Right, so the Nissan has gained some seconds back. Mainly through me farting around with lap traffic. Which the Nissan's also going to have to deal with. As well as his two extra pit stops. So, you, you know. Anyway, we are also starting to lose grip in these tyres as well. So they are starting to fall off the cliff. I think Jason got this spot on. Another half second or so from the Nissan. It's going to be kind of nip and tuck throughout the race, I think. 
with traffic and pit straps and things like that. Give me an interesting one. In fact, if I... Uh, yeah, Jason did say be wary of rumble strips with this setup because, Jesus Christ, they can really, they really throw the balance of the car off, as you can kind of see there. Yeah, interestingly, we could end up converging right near the end to have basically, if we're pitting every 12 laps, our final pit stop will be lap 48. They're pitting every 8 laps. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. Jason, what the actual fuck are those clip titles? I think those ones are auto-generated by Twitch, aren't they? I think they are. That is, believe it or not, not Jason's fault. Right. We're going to come in for our first stop of the race. The Nissan, 17.1 seconds back. Oh, is the light a bit bright on my face? Right, so there goes the Nissan back into the lead. And will have gained quite considerably through its outlaps. So this will be very interesting. This is gonna be it's gonna be a nip and tuck race, you know. We're going longer on tires, but we need to make sure we're actually got the pace to do it. Because on equal tyres, we're about equal on pace with the Nissan. On worn tyres, and if they come out on fresher tyres, they're obviously faster. 7.5 seconds, blimey Charlie. I'm also hoping the Nissan gets disgustingly held up by some lap traffic up here. It's entirely possible. And the Viper's pitting again. Oh, God, that bloody rumble strip. That's just murderous row right there. Oh god, there's the panels again. Oh no. Oh, I have to suffer this embarrassment again. It's actual embarrassment to motorsport up here. Not the panel. Jesus Christ, the <laughs> Jesus Christ, the Nissan just gained two seconds on us in a lap. Guys, we out we're out here. We need to get out here. There we go. We'll do. That'll do. Right, heads down, boys. Time to get serious. 9.2 seconds. We were on cold tyres that lap, in fairness. But fairness don't count for shit in the eyes of the Nissan. So we need to get our work boots on and get busy. Ow. <laughs> Bounce off the wall. Nine point seven seconds. So the thing is, we'll be pitting again in another couple of laps anyway, so we've got a certain amount of time advantage. It's going to fluctuate. So we can't let them gain time back and potentially negate those pit stops that it's not going to take. Eight point five. That's a little bit of a game there. Oh my god, am I, am I really going to be yeeted by the GT40 of all people? Yeety 40. You know what? Now that I'm trying to save the reputation of the original Granny Trundler, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to bestow the Granny Trundler name on the GT40. Oh, I think we're going to have to. Because this is embarrassing. The Granny Trundler 40. So I'm just going to check this. 
weirdest noise outside my window. Sound like a car engine that wouldn't start or something. Grandpa Trundler. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> How was that lap? Oh, much better. Oh, that's much better. A new personal best for the race. 148.9. Our first dally it's into the 148s actually. Screw the noise, drop the hammer, Lewis. I mean Adam. Weird thing is with this track, when I when I back in the day, when I was a lot younger, I used to hate this track. It just had no flow for me at all. Maybe it is a Renault. Who's that? What the the Granny Tron, the Grandpa Tron number forty? Oh, where am I going? Well, did he do that? 7.7 seconds. The gap is sort of stabilising again. So at the end and start of our stints, where our tyres are either cold or knackered, the Nissan's gaining some time. Everywhere else, it's staying level. And of course, where we're not pitting half as many times as they are, we're gaining some time back there as well. That was a 49.7. Still gained a little bit on the Nissan. That's good. enjoy a good tactical tactical chess match because that's kind of what you're going to get here. Nissan should be pinning again at the end of this lap, so they'll hand the lead back over to us. So we pit again, lap 24. So that's going to be where the first of our... Yes, lap 24. Nope. Tato, can you remind me not to look at chat when I'm going around a corner? Can you just do that for me? I need to be shamed here. I need to be shamed for my poor life choices. Oh, the gap is closing now. 5.9 seconds. This is before the Nissan's even pitted. This is not what it needs right now. It needs all the time in the world. Anyway. Yeah, I used to hate this track when I was younger. It just had no flow to me. It was far too technical, far too fiddly. But it's such a rewarding track in that once you get to grips with it, and it does take a while to get to grips with, but once you do, what a beautiful track. Like I say, before the Nordschleife arrived, this was the technical masterpiece of Gran Turismo. And note that I said masterpiece, so that does count out complex string. And there's the Nissan in for its second stop. This is the important stint. <laughs> this is, oh my god, a 147.7 there. Oh boy. This could be the stint that really uh, breaks the back of this race. Given that we're going to be pitting once. So the Nissan's twice in the next 10 laps. <clears throat> Sand comes out the pit 16 seconds back. Hasn't lost as much time this time. Well, of course, it had a bigger gap going in, I suppose. <laughs> Don't look at me while doing these twisting corner-like maneuvers. 
solid life advice there, really. We do need this back in Gran Turismo Sport, Cam. I need this back in Gran Turismo Sport possibly more than I need my next breath. And I need my next breath quite a lot. <laughs> like, it's quite important, you know. Alright, we're going to have some more lap traffic to deal with in a minute. Traffic that is, I'm not quite sure. Whoa! Let's get using the pit entry for, uh, you know, using all the track. Straight with the lit up trees. Yeah, it does look gorgeous, doesn't it? It's one of my favourite parts of this entire track. I kind of would say the back straight, but it's more the sort of middle straight. The mid circuit straight with a chicane on it, which used to be a chicane of death. Now we're starting to pull the hammer down on the Nissan. Now the Nissan's in big trouble. Because they will pit again before we take our next stop. So, um, yeah, not, not looking good at the moment. <laughs> <clears throat> Gap's just over 20 seconds now. Not quite 21 seconds to go yet. Which is a shame, given that I'm looking for any opportunity to drop that one more time. Ay, 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 ay. This car really does want to be part of Team Pleb, doesn't it? <laughs> Trying to be a drift through mid race. I appreciate that. Respect that. You've got to respect that. Meanwhile, we now have 21 seconds to go. You've got 21 seconds to go. You've got 21 seconds to go. And the R3 Niner's pit strategy is rapidly falling apart because it can't do shit. Oh. Meanwhile, the Viper's resistance has officially crumbled like a sort of creme brulee on the surface of Mars. Oh dear. Oh dear. What have you, what have you done there? That is the Granny Trundler super really bad Team Orica. No, hang on. Hang on. If GT's Granny Trundler, come up with an acronym for GTS-R. We need something for that. <laughs> Universe Brain 2 million D chess. Oh, we are playing some some serious 4D chess with the Nissan right now. There's crew members on their bunker right now, or in their pit bunker. Just like... Uh, 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 uh. That is the 99 Le Mans Toyota, isn't it? Yes. P please let it have another puncher. Please. Uh, sir, uh, punchers are not really a thing in this game. Bollocks! Another, whoops, another clip. Granddad Trump. <laughs> Except the final word, Jason. We don't usually use that word around here, but most of that, yes. Granny Trundling Super... Uh, Relt. I don't know. Granny Trundler, Granny Trundling Seriously Rubbish. There we go. Meanwhile, speaking of Seriously Rubbish, the Mazda's pitched in for the second time. So the Mazda's going for nine lap strats. You know, completely different to the Nissan's eight. It's also not working at all, because A, the Mazda's slow as shit, and B, the Mazda's slow as shit. Oops. Oh, God. What lab did we pit on? Uh, lap 12. Oh, and this lad's starting to gain back in a little bit now. And the Viper's pitting for about the 20th time in the race. There's always that one car, oops. There's always that one car in every Gran Turismo 3 race, isn't there? 
There's been basically that one car in every race in the series who's just like, I know. If you put on the super soft tyres, they're the faster tyres, aren't they? Uh, why have they worn out in half a lap? Well, I'm going to have to pit again. It's all right. I'll be really fast when I'm actually on the track. Not making 12 million pit stops. Totally not looking at you, Tom's X540 chaser from the super speedway one. In fact, I am looking straight at you. I'm glaring straight at you right now. In fact, I'm not because I've got to keep my eyes on the track. This is the worst track for trying to stream with. There's no time for water breaks. No time to check Chateau. Well, I guess the main straight is supposed to be that bit. But, you know. Hi, Shelby Cobra. How you doing? I remember that. Oh, my God. Was that the one from the Seattle City 100 that genuinely pitted every two laps? Do I remember that right? That that was a thing? I hope I remember it right. Because <laughs> that was an absolute shambles. Grandma trundling, Grandma's trundling suit satellite. What am I doing? Oh, I'm doing the thing where I'm checking Chateau mid-corner again. They look shook. Their strategy is terrified. Manami's on fire. Nissan R390 is terrified. We need James Carmody here. He's the master of that chant. Being Irish, you know. Oh, God, the Nissan is starting to close again now. But, uh, you know, it's going to pit again on the next lap, so... Pfft. Bad luck. <laughs> Nathan is saying if we stretch to lap 25, we can make it a formal three stop. Jason? What do you reckon on this? Right past the uh, uh, official pit <laughs> crew chief thing, person. Right, the Nissan is now snatched. Snatched? Oh my god, what is going on? It is all falling apart. This is why. This is the real reason why I'm retiring. My brain is just melted into a blob. <laughs> it's just actually... What we've done is we've suffered so many concussions through uh, doing the Bad Games beatdown. We've taken so many batterings in the octagon up against doing bad games beatdowns. I'm actually now suffering, like, <laughs> concussion syndrome. Godwell trashing Skiddy Rosser. <laughs> Why does that tickle me so much? <laughs> Godwell trashing Skiddy Oh my god. There we go. When we next encounter the GT40, which we will in about the next 12 seconds probably, um, everyone put that in chatto, in all caps. Guardrail trashing skinny Roger. No Jeff. We are better than Jeff. Where's Jeff? I've got British Pokemon legit advocating a return of Jeff from F1 2019. We'll be out there on just like flaming melting rubber he'd be like we're still not sure if that's the right compound you better stay out for the moment i've literally got four flat tires they're on fire yeah but we're just not sure if it's the right time now fuck you and your entire family when you're like splashing around in the rain be like we're not sure what the correct tire is right now stay on the dries for now but if you're starting to lose grip oh you've aquaplaned off and actually submerged underwater your car is now a submarine. We're not sure what types of torpedoes to load it, load it up with. We'll check again in a few minutes. Is your dad like blub 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 blub? That's me underwater trying to shout, "Fuck you, Jeff!" <laughs> Woke Jeff is sadly trapped in the book. Yeah, it's a shame. We need to get Woke Jeff back at some point. Okay, Andre Harrison. This is alter ego now. Woke Jeff. We need to bring him back. If I'm going to be streaming racing games on uh, my new solo Twitch channel, then, you know, be rude not to, really. We know where Jeff's been. He works at Ferrari. Bingo. British Pokemon to solve the mystery of the millennium. 
Oh no, is that the panels again? Oh. Oh, can you just. Oh my god, he nearly pushed me into the pits. Bloody hell. Fourteen point three seconds now. Hang on, has the has the Nissan taken its second stop? Third stop. Is the Nissan now playing 4D chess with us? The frying pan Oz. The frying pan Oz. Hang on. Oh, 8, 16, 24. Right, it's going to be pitting the same lap as us. Okay. Glad we uh, glad we established that. I was a little bit confused for a second. For some reason, I know what happened. I For some reason, I got it in my head that it was pitting on lap 21. Ignore me and my terrible maths. Right, so they'll be pitting with us at the end of the next lap. Whoops. Oh, God. And then pitting again lap 32 when we pit lap 36. So this is really good where we're going to start pressing home the advantage in terms of pit stops. The Nissan definitely gains in at the end of our stints. Meanwhile, the panel's trying to play 4D chess and ending up playing 1D uh, Scrabble. <laughs> Actually, that's not fair on Scrabble. 1, 1D Hungry Hungry Hippos is what the panel's ended up playing rather than 4D chess. 4D Hungry Hungry Hippos. I would kind of would quite like to see what that looks like. Yeah, at the end of our stints, our tyres are pretty knackered. Box this lap. Yep. Got you, Jason. 10-4. Oh, oh, good. Yeah, our tyres really do go off at the end of 12-lap uh, stints. I think we'll try and push it at the end. We'll try and go the extra two laps rather than pit with two to go. Given that we know the Nissan will probably stop then one more time. Um, and if we're anywhere near, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Now I'm happy with where our strat is. We currently hold a 13 or so second lead over the Nissan. And that won't come down in a minute when we pit because the Nissan's pitting as well. Whoopsie daisy. The understeer is real. Some granny trundling. The rare triple zero gap to second there. 15 seconds exactly. Gap back to second. We're in the pits. The setup is indeed doing the job, Jason. Well done. And we're at half distance already. Blimey. Sips of water. Sip of beer. Oh, that's better. There we go. And we're back in the motor race. Just an orgy of hippos. <laughs> maybe, you know what, now you've said that, maybe I don't want to see what 40 hungry, hungry hippos looks like. I'd rather not.
So, all right, so we are about to complete half distance in the race. I've got to say, it has... Is it just me or has it gone by in an absolute flash? It's just breezed by. And then again, it has also taken about 40... What, about 46 minutes. The pits are very detailed in this game, Super Mike. I love that. Even though they couldn't get an actual animated pit crew for this game. Am I right in thinking they did have an animated pit crew for uh, Grand Turismo 4? I seem to recall they did. Because I remember that's when they introduced like fuel as an actual thing in the game. Which made the Enduros in that game even more intense. I mean, me and Nay have talked about before how we'd like try and sneak some advantage. Because the AI would just by default just fill their tanks up to the max on every stop. So if you could only fill up to the minimum that you needed for the tyre stint, then you, you'd kind of gain an advantage here and there, you know? Chateau is in fact... Oh, no! Guys, look who it is! It's the guardrail trashing skinny Roger. Quickly, in Chateau... <laughs> it's me! <laughs> oh, I haven't missed you. No one's missed you. Quickly, everyone put them in the chateau. Put guardrail trashing skinny Roger in chateau. As my pit suggestions might indicate, I live life on the edge. Nay's there just like, you're considering going an extra lap on your tyres. I too like to live dangerously. How many clips is that now, Jason? 978 or so? You watch, by the end of tonight, it's going to be like 999 clips, and Nay's going to be like, oh god. Like, I have to just do one thing clip worthy. Oh! That's bollocks. <laughs> that is bollocks. That was Grandad Turtle. 979. We're closing in. You got 21 clips to go. You got 21 clips to go. And if I keep fucking up the corners, then Jason's going to have plenty to clip about. Like that. Skiddy Roger is the one. <laughs> of course, yes. My mistake. My mistake. Yeah, that was not the um, guardrail trashing Skiddy Skiddy Roger. Also, fuck me. The Nissan's closing in. Oh god, I'm falling off. Right, the Nissan is closing the fuck in. We missed having 787 clips. Yeah, we need we need to get our shit together because the Nissan's closing in. There's only so much we... Oh my god, it's under seven seconds. Right, okay, let's focus here. I might even have to get the glass. That's when you know shit's getting serious. Is my face too bright? It might be, actually. Uh, excuse me. Is that better? A bit better, yep. Right, okay. No, definitely don't exit. We're not doing that. Yeah, we can brag as much as we want about the uh, Nissan having to make more stops than us, but if we leak all that advantage away with crap laps, then it's not going to matter really, is it? So let's get, let's get busy again. Is there any lap traffic ahead of us? No, not really. We've got clear track in front of us for the moment. Let's take advantage of it. Let's let Manami stretch her legs a bit. You are quite a light reflecting boy. Well, I'm I'm pale. What can I say? <gasps> that was close. 
and pause the game just so I was somehow veering to a gap in the fence. Am I still too bright? Let me know. I'll try and tweak the lighting. And not crash into the pit wall. Not train watching time. Oh, 148.2. That's much better. It's much more like it. Good stuff, my nummy. Let's get this done, shall we? 6.9 seconds. The Nissan is on pace again. We're trading punches again. It's like a Justin Gaethje fight. We've got some knockdowns on the Nissan. The Nissan's got some knockdowns on us. At the moment, we're just trading punches all over the place. 6.1 seconds. The Nissan's gained a little bit more. Bearing in mind, its tyres are going to peak a little bit quicker than ours because they run out quicker. You are a shining light upon them. Ah, that's the that's the nicest way anyone said that you're a pale motherfucker I've ever heard. I like that British Pokemon. Thank you. Who's there with the wholesomeness in Chato? There's all sorts of filth and innuendo and everything else going on. And then British Pokemon's like adds a dash of wholesomeness, sort of. But restores balance in the universe, you know? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, stop it. You're all going to make me blush. Wait, maybe that's the strat. Turn my face from white to red. <laughs> as red as my car. Cunning bastards. You bunning bastards. Or whatever. No, that's the GTA 5 naming committee. Who was that just pitting in? Oh, is that the Mazda? Wow, we've just lapped the Mazda. And put in a 147.9. This hand's still there at 6.4 seconds back. This might... Well, even with those pit stops, this might still go down to the wire, you know. It's going to be quite interesting. This is uh, you know, well over half distance, and the fact that this race is still pretty much anybody's. This is like the um, Hungarian Grand Prix yesterday, which I didn't watch, but I heard was actually an actual race for the win happened. Between a Mercedes and someone not driving a Mercedes. Just unbelievable on two counts right there. I would say the fact that the non-Mercedes wasn't also a Ferrari was also a surprise, but I'm not sure we're surprised by that anymore. Ferrari in there basically in their role of being screamed at as everyone goes, but you were the chosen ones! Why do you keep fucking this up so bad? Why? It's like they build the shiniest, best new, like, sniper rifle. And then immediately turn around and shoot themselves in the kneecap with it. Yes, we've built a sniper rifle that's capable of shooting down the Mercedes. Oh, we've shot ourselves with it. And the Mercedes is like, uh, well, okay then. We've just come out with the greatest laser assault machine gun ever. So we're just going to win now. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, Chateau, I would like to state for the record, what I didn't do there was look at Chateau in the braking zone of the chicane. It may have looked like that, but I would like to categorically state that I completely did do that. And I'm very sorry. Calling the cunning stunts races in GTA stunning. Yeah. Hurdy gurdy gurdy, do you get it? It's like stunning seas, but, you know, we've swapped the gurdy gurdy. That's actually the... Uh, I'm sure that's not actually the writing team for Rockstar. <laughs> Just coming around to writing a game like GTA San Andreas. Hurdy gurdy gurdy, wouldn't it be funny if we gurdy gurdy renamed Area 51 into Area 69? Gurdy gurdy, hurdy gurdy. Hurdy hurdy hurdy. <laughs> You're becoming the trundler. I'm driving the original Granny Trundler. I have to, you know, have some moments of Granny Brain dimwittery. What? Fr I'm proud of that. Granny Brain dimwittery. Sorry, I appear to have just morphed into Stephen Fry for a moment. Which I 
I have actually, back in my teens, there were a few times where people were like, there was ever like, what celebrity does AJ remind you of? Some people were like, that's Stephen Fry. And I'm like, do you know what? I'll take that. Then someone else said Boris Johnson, and I punched them. Um, well, not so much of the time, because Boris was still in his bumbling oaf mayor of London phase. But if we knew what we knew now, don't make us hate you last time. I'm trying not to. Gap stays the same. It stays strong and stable. Or not. You were chosen to defeat them, not join them. The Area 51 meme still confused me. Yeah, me too. I like the fact there's all these spoof ones as well now. Like, let's storm 10 Downing Street on the day of Brexit. <laughs> they can't leave with, they can't leave the EU without us. It's all these spoof ones now. It's like tonight would be like, let's storm Special Stage Route 11. They can't win the race if we're there. Or, I don't know something. I love the fact that of everything of like prime importance in the world, it's like, hmm, if we share our collective powers together, we could really change the world here. Or lol, we could storm Area 51. Fuck it, let's do that. Still that gap staying about level. Which is not surprising because we're lapping in the 149s, which is around the same lap time as the Nissan. So basically, if we make any sort of mistake, which we're kind of doing regularly given, I'm like, concept, you know this braking zone coming up? What if I don't actually brake for it and I look at Chato instead? Seeing as I keep doing that, it's allowing the Nissan to punish us a bit, so let's try and not let him do that. I blame Naruto for the me. Guys, let's storm the armbar okay? We we could probably stop all of you. Given that not, not even that many of you are in the UK. <laughs> just a bunch of you at Dover Harbour, just like not being let through passport control. Why man? Come on, what are you doing? We know you're trying to storm the armbar arcade. Come on. We've seen the memes. Yeah, I was gonna say, is Area 51 technically all the alien stuff, or is that just an experimental army base sort of thing. Well, an experimental like, top secret testing facility sort of thing. Well, I could try and stop you, Black Amar, but I've just realised that um, <laughs> I'm going to be in America in October. Whoops. Has anyone actually set a date to Storm Area 51? Be amazing if that was happening when I was there. Just, just wandering around like, yo, what's up guys, what are you doing? We're storming it, storming Area 51. Okay, sounds like fun. Oh, you've all been shot. Yeah, okay then. Oh, now we're pulling away from the Nissan. We are a bit better than the Nissan on its the final laps before its pit stops, so. September 20th is the official date, Storm Area 51. Okay. It's a month before I'm going to be there. Shame, really. Shame. Oh, you live up north. For some reason, I don't know why, for some reason I... Oh, wanted to crash into that wall. Whereabouts up north, if you don't mind me asking? 10.1 seconds, there we go, the gap's extending again. Oh no, oh no, it's the panels again. Oh, meanwhile, the Viper's pitted. The guardrail trashing Skiddy Roger. We've just lapped it. It pitted to avoid the ignominy of being shouted out on stream, but we still saw it. So, Chato, you know what to do. That's not what I said to do, Panos. Look, do, do you want to, do you want to get anally fondled? Oh god! You know when your brain just goes down like a dead end, a dead end road. You're just like, oh, how do I finish the sentence? <laughs> Only a Sheffield, okay. 
was up in Manchester, uh, not last weekend, the one before. It was nice, well, except for the fact it would not stop raining. It's like, look, guys, I'm trying not to play into this, like, stereotype that it's all grim up north. But you're not helping me by the fact that it's literally been pissing with rain the entire time I've been here. But like, genuinely, it just didn't stop. Went out after the wrestling show I went to, went and had drinks, went to these different clubs. Got a cab back to my hotel at, like, 2 a.m., still raining. <laughs> Guardrail trash, and there it is, you anal fumbler. <laughs> oh man, that's the um, the unreleased Battle Construction Vehicle sequel that the world never saw, because it was actually rated R18. You bumbler, you bumbler, you anal bumbler. Well, that's not what I said, son. Singing the tune of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. God rail trashing skinny Roger. God rail trashing skinny Roger. <laughs> Alright, so the Nissan's made its latest stop. We will be picking at the end of lap 36, so in three laps time. <laughs> it's like a popcorn kernel rolling down a storm drain. Ah, uh, Black and Mod, you really do have a way with words. And it is quite spectacular, to be honest. Meanwhile, we're now 30. Gonna start that sentence again. We're now 33 seconds ahead of the Nissan. Although we're probably not anymore we're driving that shit. Though, as I said, we're getting the final few laps of our stints. Tires really do start to fall off. And it's right around the time my concentration lapses. So, yeah, not a good combo there. Okay, we are still 33 seconds ahead for now. We're now 30. Smash. Yeah, we are precisely 30 crunch seconds ahead. And now we're 31. Okay. Probably fair. How many clips is that now? 980? Two laps to go to our next stop then. 981 clips. We have 19 to go. We are 31.8 seconds into the Nissan with a pit stop in hand. <laughs> well, it was either that or I head by a wall again, so what would, what do you want? Me headbutting a wall or me singing opera? You probably want me headbutting the wall, to be honest. <laughs> Gotta say, I love the fact that this car has just been absolute. It hasn't felt difficult to drive at all. Like the 787B would have been teeth gnashingly frustrating to try and drive around here. It just does not suit low speed corners at all, of which the track has loads of them. The GT1 is just kind of eating them for breakfast as like a light snack. Just nomming them down and being like, uh, do you know what? I'm still hungry. I need a bacon sandwich. And that is why the GT1 has always been my favourite. The only Toyota that I was happy for when Toyota finally won Le Mans back to back when everyone else left and any nearest rivals still left were handed massive restrictor plates and like... What do they call it? Anvils. Yeah, anvils to put in the back of their cars. For when Toyota finally broke the dark, this is the car I was happy for. It's like, good morning to the GT1 and the GT1 only, whose sins have finally been redeemed. Oops. <laughs> Not those sins, though. They've yet to be redeemed. You can pull the handbrake and butt butt the wall. <laughs> 
You haven't eaten yet, British. Eat now. Just have something. The race has got another 15 laps to go so far. You won't miss the end. Unless you're preparing like a three-course meal or something. Get like a snack or something. Drink beer. Uh, no. Hey, something this afternoon. What a Kit Kat. Isn't that Snickers? It's the whole, you're not you when you're hungry. Oh, by the way. Jace has not said box this lap, by the way, guys. So, you know, maybe I might stay out another lap or two. Might just not pit again in the race for the lols. It'd be banter, wouldn't it? Waiting for Jason to appear in chat. I'm like, no, box this lap, you fuck. <laughs> Eat now. Prepare now. Start eating now. Oh, if only I was over my computer, I could <laughs> whip that track on again on Winamp. <laughs> There's Jason. It's Jason trying to think of an insult. Person. There we go. Box you p p p person. Yeah, I was only joking, by the way, Jason, but I don't blame you for not trusting me. I mean, we could stay out and embarrass the GT40, but why would we want to do that when it's doing that? It's, uh, <laughs> I genuinely thought we were going to punt it straight into, pit, into the pit road there. I'm more a Mars bar. Can, we'll have a Mars bar then. They are also nice. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's better. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this chair has lumbar support, AJ. Might as well use it. There we go. Oh, another clip. More clippage. 982 clips now, is that? All right. We're back in the race. What could be our last stop of the race? Might be. Oh, no. Yeah, it could be. There is every chance. The Nissan has got... I guaranteed another stop at lap 40. And then we could potentially both pit one more time on lap 48. That'll only be with about two laps to go in the race. So whether we need to take that stop is debatable, really. And the gap's now down to back down to under 10 seconds again. When we've both been on like equal like ground in terms of we both pitted around the same time, when our strategies have evened out, there's Never been more than about 10 seconds between us. Either the Nissan leading or us leading, so. It's close, you know. Herbity gerbity gerbity gerbity. Herbity gerbity gerbity. I don't know what I'm saying now. Concept. What about if we get our final stop out of the way on like lap 40? Around the same lap as the Nissan. And then just run flat out to the end. Final 10 laps. Jason, do you approve of this? Assuming the Nissan will probably pit again. And even if he doesn't, we'll have really good tyres for the rest of the stint. Pit on lap 46. Okay, Jason's already having the same thought. That's the thing. Like, I'm, I'm well aware that for those final two laps, we'll be driving. I mean, look, we pitted last lap. Tyres just haven't come up to temperature. And the Nissan gains time on us when we're on cold tyres. Unsurprisingly, given we're slow as shit on cold tyres. Support your lumbar, in it. <laughs> so just hit me. This is going to be the last time I stream on lumbar, okay? For now. <laughs> it's not like it's just being deleted forever. It's all still there. And we can just sort of boot it up whenever we want. And be like, oh, hey guys, we've done a random video. Or random stream. That's more likely. We might just do like a random stream around Christmas time or something. Like, yo, what's up? How you doing? Guaranteed to be better reunion shows than insert name of band that had shit reunion tour here.
8.2 seconds. It's pretty close. <laughs> this hand isn't being held up by shit. No, it really isn't, is it? It's getting the rub of the green in terms of uh, lap cars. Though I'm not sure what rub of the green really means. It's not like it's actually rubbing itself against some green grass. That would just be weird. Alien Ant Farm. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Guaranteed to be a better reunion to them than Alien Ant Farm. AA will be a better reunion when it happens than AAF. <laughs> the F being actually Fs in chat. Oh, we're coming up on a lap car. I wonder who that is. Is it the guardrail trashing Skinny Roger? That is the question. It's time to find out. It's not, because the Viper Granny... No, Granny... Granny trashing Skinny Rumbles. I don't know. Don't. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of Granny Trundles... Uh, guys, can we get some Ys in chat for the Ford? Can we get some Ys in Chato? Like, for why are you still... Why? Why are you existing? Oh, are you trying to yeet me? <laughs> Tried yeeting me. <laughs> I'm leaving you now. Bye. You're an embarrassment to my favourite car of all time. Well, one of. Oops. Nine point three seconds still. Yord. <laughs> Get by him quickly. You have no time for BS. Grace still plays up in here all of a sudden. No time for BS. Man, I haven't watched his videos in ages. I need to. I really enjoyed his stuff. Like I got into him off the My Summer Car stuff he was doing, and he did a bit of Train Sim World, which of course I'm going to like. It's even funnier watching an American try to get the grips with our trains. Another clip. Where's that? 983 now. Nine point eight seconds. One hundred eighty-three. It holds up the shit for he is the anus. Gap is over ten seconds now, but you know that's partially because the Nissan is about to pit, and its tyres have been reduced to shredded pieces of chewing gum. Spat out from a nearby tramp. And as we know, hobo chew chewing gum, not really known for being an effective race tyre compound. Yes, I did have to do a double take of the fact that Twitch named that last clip Artichoke Fun Run. Now there's a porno you won't see on OnlyFans. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that is an OnlyFans account. I have big news. I have food now. Yes. Round of applause in Chateau for British Pokemon 27 for getting food. I had my dinner just before coming on stream. But luckily this time I left myself just enough time to actually finish it. Ironically, it was mostly gluten-free as well, which helps. That's one thing I really noticed about the gluten sensitivity. I really like my mucus, like, my sinuses will clog up and everything, which is horrible. I like, remember that stream where I was randomly like, <laughs> the whole stream. Remember that? That was a, that was a fun time. Right. We're going to go to lap 42, I think. Hey, hey, big news. We are in. BP27, big news. Has food. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Good evening and welcome to the 10 o'clock news. The uh, big story tonight, British Pokemon 27 has food. We cross live to near Sheffield, where our reporter on the ground is there waiting. Yes, it is unconfirmed what food British Pokemon 27 has got. Whether it was a beloved Mars bar, or whether it was just some leftover noodles. But regardless, it is a relief to hear 
She has food. Back to you, Dave. <laughs> food stream win. <laughs> yeah, that's actually my next. Um, that's actually my next project. My next Twitch is uh, my solo Twitch. Just gonna be a cooking, cooking channel. You like the fucking um, the shot of Brandy series that Brandy Rhodes did? She was like, "Hey, I'm incredibly hot, so I'm gonna walk around in a bikini and get drunk on actual brandy because my name's Brandy and uh, cook some food as well." Without burning the house down. It was like my drunk kitchen meets a very attractive wrestler. So, you know, good stuff. I like that that was my first frame of reference for drunk kitchen videos. Not literal my drunk kitchen. God, I need to slap myself with an internet fish. AJ can't fail, please. Cooking mama. I mean, if any of us streams that after the uh, retirement of Arm Arcade, we may. I believe he actually has some of those games. He'll correct me in chat. <laughs> the food stream is him eating pizza before the infamous. No that was it. Yeah. You don't. You don't want another food stream. You really don't. That's what happened last time. Tonight, AJ eats pizza. And plays a video game with his nose. Oh, for fuck's sake. You could say there was some serious Ponterinos there. Yeah, this is why we're quitting. Um, can't take this. I was considering, like, pulling this, saying to Nate, why don't we just spin this fake story where there's, there's an actual beef? <laughs> It's so like one day during tapings, I just fart or something, and Nate's like, Do you know what? I've had enough of this. This is just bollocks. Plays cooking ASMR. Oops. Oh, where are we going? Punter eat no. <laughs> Boom, Mr. Simple. That's a bit like something I used to do when I was younger, where if a joke was particularly bad, you wouldn't even make it through the boom tish. You'd be like, boom, 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 oh, I'll drop the drumstick. Right, so we're going to pit at the end of this lap. And then who's ready for an all-out flex to the finish? Just absolutely flexing on the, on the Nissan to the finish. Hopefully, we don't cock it up. By flexing on, I do not mean drifting. Let's just clarify that right now. So, here we go. We're going to make our final pit stop now, because we can. Oh, it's chicken. Nice. Team Pleb, fueled by Camden Hells. <laughs> All right, where we go? I'm gonna go onboard camera because this is hot lap time, lads. <laughs> We're gonna break the Nissan spirit here. Still 20 seconds back. Gonna gain a bit of time here on cold time. <laughs> Yours. Actually, that gap will come down, won't it? Because it's on the sort of delay from pre-pit stop, isn't it? Is it? I think so. But if it was nearly 40 seconds back, that could be accurate. 15.1 seconds. Let's, let's make that gap a legit 21 seconds. Let's make him take that final pit stop on lap 48 and just give up. Force his corner to throw in the towel. If we are Justin Gaethje, if we are the Justin Gaethje of motorsports. That's where we just un unload a fusillade of punches and kicks. Just flying in there. It's actually me playing Tekken now, just spamming the punch buttons. So what we're going to try and do to the Nissan now. The beat him down final stint. The, as Woke Jeff would call it, the it's time to go home stint. First, we have to survive cold tires. 
No mean feat, to be honest. Now, it's a sort of average outlap. And the tyres are still blue balling us. And the Nissan's gained a little bit on us. I mean, it's not really much. It's like a couple of tenths when the gap's 15 seconds. We are the buzz rooting of racing teams. What we say funny stuff and then destroy people's livers. Uh. And, and built in the faces above it. <laughs> Has anyone ever done that in like an MMA weigh-in? It must have happened at some point. Imagine that, where they're doing the stare down. And they're like, yeah. And then one of them is just like, oh. What the fuck, dude? Sorry, man. I just had some soda. I just had some soda before I came on the stage. <laughs> one of them was just really nervous. Just like the in-betweeners. It goes up the stare down and then just randomly goes, Bleh! pukes on the other fight. Oh, man. It has to have happened at some point. If someone has literally shat themselves in the cage before, it has to. Something like that must have happened. <laughs> we never lost a race except for these ones that we did. It sound like the brakes. The air brakes on the local buses here in Baltimore. That's a niche reference, and I appreciate it. <laughs> what has been heard? Now, I don't even know what the air brakes on a Baltimore bus sound like. A bunch of fucking goofballs who can get strangely serious if we want. Yeah, no, Black Amard, it never happened. That epic L, it was just a myth. It's just a fever dream that we all had. Don't need to talk about it. It will be a it will be a bannable offence on my new on my new Twitch channel. Anyone mentions Apricot Hill will be immediately banned from Chateau. Oh, what's that? What's that, Nissan? You lost another second. Is what is what is that out here? Is that your hand about to tap out on the mat? About to tap out on the canvas? As we hold you in an arm ball? Is, 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 that, is that what we hear? Oh, it's another second. Lance, I think the Nissan's resistance has been broken. We've just absolutely smashed it all over the floor. And then we're about to take our trousers down, take a dump on it. That's what happened to the Nissan spirit. Slaying Shatton and Poodon on the floor. Peach Mountain. Apricot gets shot. <laughs> Do you remember that time at Apricot Band? <laughs> well, I was just saying for you to eat fruit and veg. No, you weren't. Oh, by the way, you're still an absolute hecking embarrassment. Look at you. He's pitting out of embarrassment. Oh, what's that, Nissan? Is that? Another second, is that? Oh, my God. We could, nearly, we could, we could get a new fastest lap here in the final four laps. Fastest laps are 147.7. I'm going for fastest laps here. In the final ever laps that will be cut in a competitive race on the Hot Race Car Nights on Arm Arcade. Oh, what's that? Another second? You are literally just shitting the bed all over the place. There's actual brown smears on the track. They're actually throwing flags for fluids on the track. And that fluid is your diarrhea. As your hopes and dreams in this race just end up flowing down the drain. Avocado Valley. You're an embarrassment. Hits the barrier. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh. Oh, excuse me.
Oops. Oh, Miss Anne, is that another second? Another second you've lost to us? Really? You thought you had a hope in this race? You must bow down before the might of Manami Toyota. Manami the Toyota. Banana bump. Well, that's how you do the final corner. <laughs> Lon's only taken me 46 laps to figure that out. 148, four. Not bad. We have four laps to go now. Oh my god, every time I look at the clock now, every time I look up at the gap, the uh, the margin of the margin of our lead, it's gone up another second. It's going up by the sector. Lads, I think the Nissan has officially thrown in the towel. Their corner has officially given up. Also, I'm seeing references to liquid poo in chatter. I'm not sure what I've started. I have to wait until the front straight to check that out. So right now, this feels like a potentially really good lap. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. And man still has to pit again. Really? Our replay saves complete. Really? Even the replay stops saving. Doesn't want to. Doesn't want to. Uh, just can't process this absolute battering. Thick red Japanese wrestler absolutely bodies light blue Nissan. It's just trying to upload it to Pornhub. But even Pornhub was like, nah, we're not taking that. Oh, get wrecked! Oh, it's absolute chat on. Let's get so pooed on. 146.9. Nearly a whole second faster than our previous fastest lap. We are shutting this one down. We're taking it home. We're ending this series in the only way it deserves to be ended. With an absolute destruction. Whoops. <laughs> and me headbutting a barrier. No, I completely... I was so busy gloating about our fastest lap, I forgot to look at Chato. Never mind, I've got time to do that after. <laughs> I've got all the time in the world. <laughs> Shinsuke Nakamura with the Kinshasa. Kinshasa! Manami the Toyota. You've earned your name in spectacular fashion. Minoru the Suzuki was only Christian, christened that, I think, halfway through the race or, like, after it won the Speedway 150? Was it? Or was it earlier than that? Might have been after we used it to body the K-Cup. Just what was initially supposed to be just a meme. He's got 21 seconds to go. Fuck himself. <laughs> All right, coming up on two laps to go here. Presented by why is the Nissan still bothering in this race? Presented by the Nissan's going to pit at the end of this lap anyway. And it is officially going to be all over. The fat lady is literally warming up her voice right now. Warming up her vocal cords in the green room. 25.6 seconds. Mans hasn't even pitted for the final time. We have officially shut this race down. It's revenge. This is every single comment about LOL. Do you remember Ape Got Hill? LOL, don't drift at the end of this race, AJ. There he is. He's pitting. His corner is officially thrown in the towel. As their fighters just getting ground and pounded on the floor. And actually poot and actually getting teabagged. He's not just getting ground and pounded anymore. He's actually getting teabagged on the, on the mat. On the canvas. 
Joe Rogan is like, oh my god, that's crazy. We've never seen a fight with ground and pound and teabag the fuck out of someone at the same time. Mind DMT. We won, we done it. <laughs> oh, well remembered. Yeah, Minoru the Suzuki entered the Hall of Fame just ahead of the final stop in that race when it looked like it was finally going to win. 48 seconds. Oh, God. Oh, this is destruction. It's an embarrassment. This is the beat him down that Toyota threatened to do and then could only do once everyone else had left and the ACO basically shat on every other car that dared turn up being like, well, we might want to win them on this. No. No. Okay, here we go. 50 seconds. 50. Can we get 50s in chat? And final lap presented by Credit One Banks in the chat -o. We have entered the final lap of Hot Race Car Nights. Presented by Armour Arcade. Let's make it a fucking good one. Oh my god. Guys, look what lap traffic I think we're going to have to deal with on the very last lap. <laughs> it's the guardrail skinny Roger. There he is. <laughs> he definitely just slowed down just so he could be part of the final lap. Part of the victory lap. Oh, do you want to get yeeted? Oh my god, the GT40 is there as well. We've just yeeted the Viper. Just yeeted the Viper into next week. <laughs> just punted the Viper now. The GT40 might actually get away here. Right, bye. Oh my god, the GT40 is crashing. Everyone's crashing. Everyone's drunk. Right, here we go. Coming round. Oh my god, can we not... Oh my god. Hang on. <laughs> oh no! We're in the pits as well! <laughs> what a way to finish the race! What a way to finish the race! <laughs> we knocked the Ford into the pits. And we're going to trundle across the line. The Nissan's still miles away. And there it is! <laughs> come across the line in the pits a fitting way to end this series oh my god the panels was dead last it's an absolute embarrassment you are oh my god oh that felt good that was great <laughs> yeah Jason Jason was like, I didn't tell you to box that lap. <laughs> but I did anyway. By Ponterinoing the Ford. And we still finished 35 seconds later than this sad. <laughs> Even by coming across the line in the pits. <coughs> the pits. <coughs> oh man. What other way was this series and indeed this stream going to finish? Really? Victory beer chug. In fact, I'm going to tell you how this stream's going to finish. Now that we've won that race, um, Jason, Jason, would you mind doing one last favour for us as a Hot Race Car Knights crew chief before your retirement with prize money and trophies full of beer? Could you find me a test course setup for the GT1? <laughs> First, we have to find out what we actually won for that. What we actually won for actually bitch slapping the Nissan all over Special Stage Route 11, all over downtown Tokyo. We're going to get an F1 car. We've got an F1 car! <laughs> what a way to finish the stream. 
Uh. <laughs> it's all going Pete Tong. We've got an F1 car. Things are happening. Oh, wow. You ha Super Mike has an idea. Right, it's the Polyphony 002. It has just under 800 horsepower. I'm not sure what F1 car it's based on. Maybe the Williams? The Nigel Mansell Williams? It looks kind of like that. Super Mike has a great idea for the end. Speak now. Or forever hold your peace. In pieces. Meanwhile, can we just acknowledge, round of applause for the Toyota. Which has actually dropped, like, 20-odd horsepower during that race. But even so, do the wheelie tune for the Escudo. <laughs> right, how much is the Escudo? Come on now. Jason, find me the tune and I'll do it. Where Where is the Escudo? Can we buy the Escudo? We can buy the Escudo. Oh, I think it'd be rude not to, really. Yes. And destroy test course. Absolutely. With pleasure. With pleasure, Super Mike. Yes, find the Escudo tune right now. Is Jason still in Chato? <laughs> Someone find the Escudo tune. All right, tell you what, while you're doing that, I'm going to find the stupidest wheels possible for our Escudo. What well, they're just the most obnoxious looking rims. Gold rims, they're pretty... Oh, they actually look cool. Damn it, I've actually found cool wheels for this... I've actually found cool rims for this car. Right. I'm assuming we have to max tune the Escudo as well. Hit <laughs> like 500 MPH. Call air traffic control. The arm cage is ready to take off. Right. Yeah, if someone wants to find the uh, wheelie setup, I will do it. Oh, God. Guys, that says 1824. 1,824 horsepower. This is now no longer a car. It's, it's a spaceship. Well, Nay's copy paste the tune. It's Chato. I don't think it's going to matter what tyres we have. Right, we've got the we've got the setup. I think. Oh, we need super soft tyres, apparently. Oh, God, if I legitimately enter a race at test course, I'm going to be pitting every lap. Well, I don't think it's going to matter, though. <laughs> right. Okay, here we go. Are we ready for this? No, really, are we? I think what we have to do... We've, done, we've won like the wind already. What we have to do, though, is go back to the Grand Turismo All-Stars. No, I know what we're doing. We're taking revenge on the dullest race in the series. Dream Car Championship at Test Course. Whether we actually win the race or not, or not is kind of going to be irrelevant. <laughs> right. So. We have... We get the super soft. Yeah, we got super soft tyres. We got the turbo on. 1,824 horsepower. 1,824. So, spring rate. Now, this is where I expect everything to look a bit silly in terms of the settings. Four. Ride height, 75, 75. The wheelie starts at 370 kilometres an hour, apparently. Right, 
shock bound shock rebound see that was me thinking that 1350 horsepower the maximum tune for the toyota would be a good way to end the stream but no you lot wanted full wheelies and 1800 horsepower and of course what was i really going to say no to that Right, so LSD initial. 60, 60. And then acceleration, 60, 60. And then LSD decrease, 5, 5. Gears, what have we got? Auto set 48. And then. <sighs> Final 2000. Then, first gear, 4.604. Talk among yourselves for a bit. <laughs> Most of the time when I've tried to do gearing adjustments, it hasn't quite worked. But we'll get as close as we can. Five, four, three, two, one... Oh, it's the absolute minimum. 2.888. This week on Armour Arcade, Johnson goes to the moon, is Suzuki. I think it's literally just go as little as possible. Yeah, 2.0 on 4. 1.485. There we go. 1.157. Yep. Sixth. 0.875. There we go. So there's the gears all done. VCD at 10. Driving aids completely off. You don't need any of those. Not when we're trying to go to the moon. Right. Downforce, none. And then downforce on the back, maximum. There's the key right there. So I don't think I'm missing anything. got the turbo on yep that's pretty much the only thing we can mod on the car or extra part we can put on i think we're all good jason are we good to go have an ice lolly now oh lovely right are you ready for this are we ready to send the shit out in the only way we know possible Okay, so here we go. <laughs> I love the way it's like... Alright, here we go. Still wheel spinning. Still wheel spinning. Still wheel spinning. Still wheel spinning. 3.30... 340, 350, 360, 365, 370. Oh my god. Oh no, the front's taking off. Oh, it was taking off for a moment there. Oh god. Oh my god, the front end's just not turning. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we were about to take off there. I, front, I felt the front take off a bit there. 
Now it's grinding along the wall. I don't even have to press. The, I don't even have to press the left stick. Right here we go down the back straight. We're going to hit 370. Come on, come on. Through the corner, it just won't turn. The front tire is already yellow. Right here we go. Come on, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Towards 370. Oh my god. Oh, we're taking off. We're wheeling. 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 We're whe
<laughs> we were just like, we were battling for the lead. <laughs> what was that? Oh no. Right, where we go. <laughs> the tires are already dark red. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And we leave. <laughs> oh, here we go. Flying up behind the leaders again. Hi, me again. I'm just not with the RKO. I don't know. This is. They said I could do anything I wanted, so I became a plane. Oh no. Question, do you really need super soft tyres? Do you, do you, maybe for the rear. Maybe admittedly for the rear. But the, for the fronts, I'm not so sure. It's just the endless tyre squealing. Do you know what? Do you know what? Fuck it. Right, we're, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're gonna actually try and win this race with the with the wheelie a scooter. <laughs> right. That's just a point. I don't think we have super hard tires. See, I, I, I'm just thinking you probably don't need front grip, do you? Because you you're just wheeling that anyway. You need the grip on the rears. This is already the greatest thing ever. I've completely forgotten where the Dream Car Championship is. There we go. I wanted to go out with a bang. Yes, I did. You get forward force. Alright, super hards on the front, super softs on the rears. We're, we're, we're doing this. Here we go. There's the field, it's like, oh fuck. Oh no, it's, it's him again. It's it again. Spin up to sick gear on the start. Right, okay. Okay, I'm, I've run out of wheel spin. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god, we're gonna wheelie our way past the other cars. <laughs> we wheelied in the back into the Subaru. That's magical. Oh. Uh, it's just not turning, is it? <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god, are we gonna we're gonna wheelie mid-turn. Guys. Oh, we're on the cusp, we're wheeling mid-turn. You thought that Merc at Le Mans was bad? Here we go, come on, come on. Come on, we're so close. <laughs> it's wall riding the whole way around. Right, here we go. Okay, come on, off the corner. There's, there's no point even turning. It won't turn. Right, here we go. Here we go now. Here we go. Come on. And... Get ready for lift off. <laughs> 650Ks that time. <laughs> it wobbles around when it finally comes back to 
back to terra firma. This is officially the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. Nothing will beat this. Nothing will beat this. Not my university degree. Not the first time I had sex. Nothing I do professionally will ever beat this. <coughs> right, here we go. I think I'm figuring out how to get the best run out of the corners to get up to wheeling speed quicker. Here we go. We're leaning after a lap. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And ready for take <laughs> Relt. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. If you get it straight down to fourth gear, you can kind of maintain the speed a bit better. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a sweet shop. Yes, I am. This is the greatest day. Mm. And really, I can't think of any better way to sign off from Hot Race Car Nights on the Armbar Arcade than with a wheelie and glitched out the Scudo in a Grand Turismo game. It's kind of fitting, really. Oh, here we go. On the straight. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. Drinks up. Drinks up. <laughs> My God, that was nearly that was nearly seven hundred kilometers an hour. <laughs> you got to watch a bit of the replay. Wheelie through the tunnel, what, and just dig into the roof of the tunnel? Oh, wow. Oh, man. This is the greatest thing. This is the greatest thing. Right, one more wheelie down the main straight. One more wheelie. One more wheelie. Come on. And then we'll watch the replay. And I'll conclude. Right, here we go. Come on. Here we go. One more wheelie. One more time of feeling. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Drinks up. And... Whee! And 600, six, <laughs> 690 k's. <laughs> I like the way the friction is just like, <laughs> like this was actually realistic in any way, which fucking hell it isn't. Oh man, we're gonna watch the replay now. We're gonna watch the replay. <laughs> oh, I know what we're gonna do. Right, okay. Watch from the back of the suit. <laughs> just consists of wheel spinning. Right. Subaru's just like, well, I have no idea what's going on behind me. Here we, here we go. Drum roll. It's building. It's building, really. What's that in miles an hour? Here we go. Here we go. Here he comes. <laughs> Rare wheelie bump drop there. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See ya. Bye. <laughs> Me. <laughs> right. <there. laughs> oh, this is <laughs> so glitched out. I love it. It's maybe the greatest glitch in all of game. Well, it's, it's the greatest glitch in all of racing gaming. 425 miles an hour. Right, here we go. Here we go. It's already got the nose up. No wonder it wasn't turning. It basically has semi nose up the whole way around. Here we go. Through the tunnel. And then. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And take off. It's just accelerating. It's fucked off. Oh, this is the greatest night. This is the greatest stream ever. This is the greatest. Oh, from the front bumper cam. I think bumper cam is going to be the best. Oh, man. I think I should finally sign off for tonight. Oh, man. This is the greatest thing. It's been the most fun ever. Hot Race Car Nights are the best. Hot Race Car Nights will live on. Hot Race Car will live on forever. Uh, uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Down the front straight. Let's see what this wheelie looks like from the front bumper. We should just see sky. Here we go. Here we go. And the track's disappearing. We're walking in the air. <laughs> it's just the sky. 
and sky war. <laughs> Greatest, greatest night. GG boys, it's been fun. Oh man, I can't get over this. Oh, it's the greatest night. It's the greatest night of my life. Greatest, great stream night anyway. Oh. I can't think of a better way to finish off Hot Race Car Nights as part of the Armour Arcade Retirement Tour. And there we go, it's, it's about to lift off again. It's just like, Nyeh. It's just waiting. It's like Thunderbird 2. Just like, I'm waiting for takeoff. You have been cleared for takeoff. And... Oh, come on. Show us the camera. <laughs> it's still doing like 400 miles an hour on the Onco. Imagine if that was IRL just doing, trying to do 400 miles an hour rubbed up against the Onco. Just like, the entire car would just shave down to half its width. So, <laughs> okay. The front straight has a better camera. Okay, we'll keep it on that one. But for now, I really do have to sign off, I think. Because, oh my god. Well, let alone when we started on Arcade, did we not think it, we'd get this much support and this much love and this much fun? Right, here we go. Front, front straight wheelie. Front straight wheelie. Here we go. We're taking off. We are taking. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right, we're done. We're good. Um, see you next time. We, we won't see you next time. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Hot Race Car Night's been amazing. It's been what, like... I tried streaming a bit before. <clears throat> but I never really had the confidence or the commitment or the know-how how to really do it. Hot Race Car Night's when I started finally taking it seriously and properly doing it. And fucking hell, it's been a revelation. Oh, man. Even nights like tonight where I'm literally just drenched in sweat. I don't care. This is so much fun. It's the most fucking fun. Thank you all so much for making it. Every Monday night, every single Monday night, so ball-bustingly funny and amazing and wonderful. Even when I've not been feeling the games I've been playing, you've made it worthwhile. You know, you'll see, if you've enjoyed Hot Race Car Nights, you will see more of stuff like this on <clears throat> my own solo Twitch channel. If you want to make the jump over, if this is it, we go our separate ways now. That's fine. Thank you for joining the ride. Thank you for. Being along with us. Remember, this is only part one of the retirement week. Final Nades Retro Lounge Wednesday night. Friday night. One last beatdown. Superman motherfucking 64. And in the meantime, <clears throat> uh, follow us on... Uh, well, follow me and Nay separate Twitches. <laughs> That'll probably be the, the, the best thing. Mine is AJ Can't Fail. His is Nay Nay 247. In fact, it's in the chat. So follow that. We'll be streaming on that after this week. Uh, well, on our individual channels after this week. And uh, follow us on Twitter, same things. Uh, follow his Bandcamp, which is nathanfitzpatrick.bandcamp.com. Some sick tunes over there. And uh, I'm going to have another beer, I think. Seriously. Long live Hot Race Car Nights. Long live the Arm Arcade. You are all the greatest people in the world. <laughs>